My name is Ryan Postis. I'm a content creator on a variety of projects from fashion to narrative and everything in between. Shooting in photos has always been my hobby and kind of how I got started. But the realization kind of came along the way that still photography was always higher resolution than what I was shooting on the video side. And so I kind of became a little bit obsessed with clarity. And so as 4K, 5K, 6K cameras started coming out, I started seeing a shift into using them. And uh, now here I am in 8K. I'm in a situation where I'm getting very high resolution stills from motion content for banners and billboards. People have been using my work from motion for entire print campaigns. And they look like they were shot with a stills camera, but it's all pulled from motion. So having that resolution is everything. I definitely feel that I'm future-proofed for the next few years. Regardless of what comes out and what drops, if they do drop 10K, 12K, because it is going in that direction, but two, three years, I'm still gonna be producing pretty incredible images because they're gonna upgrade the cameras, I'm gonna learn the color science better, and so I can't see any reason why I wouldn't be able to execute on a high level the next few years. What I've found, and I've actually had to convince a lot of clients that 8K is not difficult, specifically with Redcode RAW. They did a really great job with the compression of it, and the systems that I've been working on have been able to handle it to a certain extent. Typically, if it's not something like an SSG system, you'll have to scale back your playback resolution, maybe like a quarter, an eighth, something like that. We work with a lot of high-profile celebrities or talent, and especially musicians. They want to come over and sit with you as a DIT or the DP, and the last thing that you want to do is drop it to a 16th uh, <laughs> resolution in hopes that playback goes smoothly. I've been in that situation a lot, and it's not a comfortable place to be. You don't want to be in a situation where you kind of feel like the tech isn't going to have your back. I dislike transcoding. It's funny to hear me saying that as a DIT. In my experience as an editor, transcoding not only just takes up your extra time, you know, you usually come home from set, you gotta transcode overnight or something. Then you have extra storage, and then you also have all these proxy files. When I get into an edit, I might drop my selects into a timeline and I might start coloring already because I just wanna see kind of where I'm going. With a proxy, I'm basically wasting time because you're not gonna use that proxy for your color correction. Another reason why 8K is great is because I crop and I stabilize. I love very clean motion. I try to be as steady as I can, and then I come in the computer, crop, stabilize. The SSG made it possible for me to see my footage as I shot it, allow me to really like dial in settings, uh, exposure and contrast in full resolution. Not scaling back, not cutting to a quarter res or an eighth res, especially if you're sitting with a client. You just want to let them see what they got. And I think going back to what I was saying earlier, as I go, I'm cropping, stabilizing, I'm coloring. So why would I take away the quality of that while I work? I want to know exactly where I'm at. 